want to know, what is your answer uh, to young people for some of the really big uh, uh, problems facing humanity, like the you know, climate catastrophe, like economic crisis, like the precarious job market? Because they just don't, like you talk all this much about uh, individual responsibility. Most of us are never going to be able to afford uh, to have all of these assets to have responsibility over. So what is your advice beyond banal comments like clean your room? Well, you know, it's actually rather difficult to answer a question that ends with your comments are banal, <laughs> politely. <laughs> and so, you know, I, I, would, I would consider that more of an opinionated personal and political statement than actually a question. So why don't you try reformulating that so that there's an actual question there. What is your... <laughs> So what is your advice to young people when you talk about you need to be individually responsible, but when there are things that are so far out of our control, like climate catastrophe, like the precarious job economy, like you know, the They're economic crisis? They're not as far crisis, out of your control what, what is, as you what think. Is, what is your answer I mean, to do you people think that who are you're worse off than your, Do you think that you're worse off than your grandparents? I think there are different challenges. Do you think you're worse off than your grandparents? Uh, Jordan, once again, we're not going to cross-examine our <laughs> questioners. No. Uh, so try answering the question about collective responsibility on climate change, for example. Pick, pick one part of that, uh, because the argument, I think, is that individual responsibility does not change um, the climate, does not fix the problem that needs global collective responsibility. So I think that's the core of the question. Do you have a, a theory about that? Well, fundamentally, I'm a psychologist, and my experience has been that people can do a tremendous amount of good for themselves and for the people who are immediately around them by looking to their own inadequacies and their own flaws and the things that they're not doing in their lives and starting to build themselves up as more powerful individuals. And if they're capable of doing that, and then they're capable of expanding their career. And if they're capable of expanding their career and their competence, then they're capable of taking their place in the community as effective leaders. And then they're capable of making wise decisions instead of unwise decisions when it comes to making collective political decisions. I'm not suggesting in the least and have never suggested that there's no domain for social action. I'm suggesting that people who don't have their own houses in order should be very careful before they go about reorganizing the world, which happens in many ways. <laughs> Can, can I just, just to... If a young person believes that the uh, climate, the global warming um, problem on the climate is something that needs to be tackled quickly and they can't wait until they grow up and become prime ministers to do it, do, do you think collective responsibility overrides individual responsibility in a huge issue like that? No. <laughs> OK. I don't. Okay. I, I think that generally, I think that generally, I think that generally people, I think generally people have things that are more within their personal purview that are more difficult to deal with and that they're avoiding and that generally the way they avoid them is by adopting uh, pseudo moralistic stances on large scale social issues so that they look good to their friends and their neighbors. That's what it looks like. <laughs>